Hello everyone, this is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes, and I got this big, huge, wonderful box of goodness today, and I have been just dying to jump in and take a look at it, and I thought I would take you along to check out what is in this big box of yumminess from Suzanne. So I do have it opened up, and I did read the card, but I didn't hold, I didn't touch any of the other stuff. I wanted to, oh so bad, I wanted to, but I waited. It's like a three-year-old at Christmas, but it's a really nice thank you card. It, thank you very much, Suzanne. Let me put that aside. And I'm going to put this box aside, too, so that we can dig in and take a look at all the goodies. Because it's so big, and my desk isn't that big, so... Okay, where do we start? We got trims and trims and more trims. Oh, yummy. They just keep coming. These are so cute. Oh, blue and green. And here, this one's a navy. Oh, look how wide it is. I like that she made her own little ribbon spools out of packaging. That's very clever. Oh, look at this one. This is nice and wide. It's like a double with that real pretty peach. Okay, and here we have a white. Well, this is pretty. Love it. Okay, here we've got some ecru. Oh, this is gorgeous. And this one's got a, a flat top, a straight edge. Isn't that going to be fun to play with? I don't know where to start. Oh, and this one can be a beading also because it's got the little holes so you can um, string some ribbon through it or cording. Look at this dainty one. I wonder if I got a... I don't know if that helps. It's kind of the same color. Really pretty. Look at this white one. It's gorgeous. And these are nice, heavy, thick cotton crocheted laces. They're beautiful. Ooh. We got a package of goodies in here. Aren't these going to be fun? Oh, and look at the pineapples. Oh, there's, oh, there's a lot. And then we got these pretty ones. These are so nice. Wow, that's a lot. So th this must be the, the top. It's got that other li extra little layer. And then here we've got all these little puffs fun dimension.
these are so pretty. Look how fine it is. This looks like it might be a tatting. It's really pretty. Oh, a couple different sizes. Oh, and some more of these little pretty dimensional. Oh, I love these. Oh, look at that has got a little flower on them. Oh, I guess we have to look at both sides, don't we? Those are so neat. Here, let's get those out of the way. There's so much in the box that I just barely touched what's on top. And here's a real pretty little trim. That's gorgeous, delicate. Okay, let's put those aside. And then here we have a beautiful, nice, big doily. And it'll bring a stack. Here we got oh, little fine handkerchiefs. Love that Batiste. So delicate. Here we have some cut work. Beautiful edging. Here's another one of those. These are just gorgeous. And there's a little bit of cut work on that. Isn't that dainty? That is so pretty. Ooh, look at this piece of linen. That cut work. That one is done by hand. All the little edges are, are tucked under and stitched and then embroidered. That is gorgeous. Oh, nice. This is a big piece, it, and it's got some starch or sizing in it. That's pretty. Oh, here we've got some embroidery. It looks like two girls playing on a seesaw. Oh, isn't that something? The wrong side is as beautiful as the right side. That is an a very talented person. Very talented. When you can get the back to look as good as the front, that is awesome. That's what we always strive for. And what is this? Look at that beautiful soft colors. It's a bird and flowers. Oh, it's huge. Oh, this is a nice big heavy tablecloth. This is a nice cotton. Very vintage. There's three birds on it. It's beautiful. Oh, here we've got some more of that little delicate trim, but in a different color. That's so pretty. Oh, and here we have a whole bolt of it. And this is a, a gimp. And this is used in home decorating. I love this trim. 
And here we've got some napkins, it looks like. Nice big pieces of linen. Such a pretty su spring summery color. There's three of those. Won't they be fun to make journal covers from? Oh, look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love this. And that peach with that blue. This is beautiful. A lot of work went into making this. I love it. Thank you, Suzanne. These are gorgeous. Okay, and I'm going to move these aside. We've got a stack of fabrics. Look at all those pretty colors. Spring is in the air. And the tulle, two colors of pretty shiny tulle. Those are so pretty. And here we've got a stripe. This is a cotton drapery weight. Oh, this is, oh, okay, here we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Won't those make those fun covers for those little journals that I just got done making? The little um, field notes. Wouldn't they be beautiful? And here's a big piece. I love that. Can have fun with that. And here's a geometric stripe. Huge. That's fun. It's almost like a, a denim -y look. It's um, got like a stone washed. It's a heavy fabric. It's a real heavy cotton. It's a drapery upholstery weight. It feels really nice in your hand. Oh, and look at that. This is gorgeous. I love it. These colors seem to be able to go together nicely. Oh, look at that green. I love these. Oh, and here we have a two-tone blue. It feels really nice. It's not all cotton. It feels like it's got a nylon or a polyester in it. Maybe it's a rayon with it. Rayon and cotton. This is gorgeous. I love it. And, and a bag of goodness. This is really pretty. Here we have some more of that gorgeous. Nice big piece. Oh, yummy. Some more of that fun stripe. I love the paisley. 
love the paisley. I just love this. Oh, my mind. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight now. My mind is going to be racing. I'm going to have to bring a notebook and pencil to bed with me so I can jot down notes because when I wake up, I can't remember a darn thing. This is really pretty linen. I love this. I would like a shirt out of this. That's gorgeous. Oh, and look at that. That's fun. Oh, it's a curtain. All right. Or, yeah, okay. We have lots of tones. And it feels really nice. Another piece of that beautiful blue. Oh, and this pretty spot again. I just love that gradation. And it goes so it's like it's perfectly matched. Oh, I'm going to oh I, I have to make a really great project with it. And this they just coordinate so well. Okay. Thinking cap is on. Okay, and there's so many more goodies in here. Oh, we've got another piece of tool. Isn't that fun? Got the th three different shades of the pink. Oh, and there's, okay, ooh, wine bags, okay. Life is too short for bad wine, and bottoms up. These are fun bags. Oh, and they're gusseted, so that's going to be nice. Play with those. And we have some cards here about art, modern art, Rembrandt, Picasso, Baroque, name this masterpiece, the Renaissance, ancient Greek and Roman art, and Byzantine art. Oh, it's like a game. It's got questions, easy and hard. Okay, well, they're, they're just gorgeous to look at. I don't think I do very good on the questions, that's for sure. Oh, it gives you the answers. Then maybe I wouldn't do so bad, huh? Look at these playing cards. Yummy. Oh, I remember Funny Bones. Oh, my gosh. We had that game when I was growing up. Oh, too funny. Oh, what a hoot. Love it. <laughs> Bringing back the memories. And here's a red and black and white. Consuelo, cardiologist. Rita, rock and roller. Sally, stockbroker. Phyllis, physicist. And Rose, gardener. Oh, those are cute. Cute. Oh, and look at those cards. These are so nice. I love cards. These are a really vintage, old. 
they don't have the same wax on them at all that the new cards do. And it's almost like a domino. These will come in handy. For, we're working on numbers for my middle grandson, and he's learning to count to 30. The, this would be great fun for him. Baja. Oh, look at this. Okay. These are awesome. The backs are blank. I have never seen anything like this before. These are great. Oh. There's one for you, Kathy. I bet you're getting anxious to get your sailboat out, huh? We're not done with our winter yet, though, so you got to be patient. What a score. Thank you so much, Suzanne. These are beautiful. Oh, love that. those dolls. I have never seen anything like this before. These are great. Okay, and here we have, these are regular playing cards with really pretty backs. Here's some cruel embroidery on these. Contract bridge scoring. More bridge scoring. Oh, these are fun little cards. Those are fun. And to make the flip pictures, put cards in numerical order, hold pack at bottom and flip with thumb. Oh, so you can see the magician pull that rabbit out of his hat. Oh, for, oh, for what a hoot. I love it. <laughs> And you're going, get on with it, get on with it. More luscious cards. There. Summer suns. Ooh, aren't these precious? Love. Oh, Norman Rockwell's. I have a couple of Norman Rockwell books. And the illustrations are so wonderful. These are fun. And we have red, too. Fun. Oh, more roses. These have the gold edges, or they look like peonies. And bird. More pretty flowers. 
more gorgeous birds, more fun Norman. It says spring. Hint, hint. Oh, here we have their geese. Kitten. A blue kitten. They pretty. Ooh, look at that. That's an old design. Oh, Castle Rock in St. Ignace, Michigan. That is right there on the other side of the Mackinac Bridge. Been there. Here we have some more geese flying at night. Help if they were the right side up. And we have our Coke Santa for the sparkling holidays. And a Coke calendar. Oh, look at these. Isn't that fun? Courier and Ives. There we go. Try to figure out which way is up. They're gorgeous. Isn't that fun? Little field and the ladies and well and gentlemen are out there dancing and they should be doing their garden work I'm thinking here we have another pretty yellow one and some more pretty pink ones okay oh these are fun 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 but I made a mess now didn't I just spread it all out I got more fun stuff to look at there is, I think there's books in this box. Play 52 pickup, right? I just love these. These are awesome. And our funny bones. You'll have to put in the comments below. Have you ever played Funny Bones? Oh, I got stuff falling from the shelves now. And here we have a roll of paper. Oh. Is this like... EKG paper, I wonder. Suzanne, you're going to have to let me know. I think it is. Oh, this is awesome. It feels so nice and tissue like quality, you know, thin, fun to collage with and have and play with. And it makes noise. Love it. Okay. Oh, get a big handful here. There we have another art piece. It's ancient Egyptian art. Put that in our bag, too. And here we have some big cards with scripture. These are really nice. Okay, 
So we've got some rectangle paper doilies. There's quite a few here. I love these. They are gorgeous. Here we have Needlecraft Magazine 1922. Ten cents a copy. Isn't that something? Look at that. Oh, cream of wheat, yes. Love the ads. Oh, dainty enough for any table is this Hoover breakfast set. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, this is going to be so precious. So precious. Oh, I wish I wasn't in the middle of so many projects right now. Maybe, well, you know, there's squirrels going on in here. So I put projects aside and start new projects all the time. Got to get it while the mind is thinking. I love how it feels. The paper is yummy. Ab smooth. It's colored so well. It's not brittle. This is a treasure. Oh, and it's even got the address. Mrs. Pearl Dustman. And here we've got the Saturday Evening Post. A few pages from that. 1907. Wow. That was a few years ago, wasn't it? Oh, I just I just love it. And here we've got another couple pages from it. Columbia Records for phonographs. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, here's big envelopes. They're huge. Look at the size of that. Isn't that great? And they're colored so nicely. Okay, let's move these over a little bit. Okay, so what's in here? We've got a... This one's wrapped with yumminess. The Burton Holmes Lectures into Morocco, the Moorish Empire. Look at that stained glass, or stained glass, marbled paper. My goodness, I don't know where my mind is. Wouldn't this be a beautiful journal cover? Oh, yes, look at that.
the the leather corners. Oh, look at that marbling. Okay, this is 1905. Oh, and this says 1901. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's 1905. This is wonderful. And here's a, the forward was written in 1903. Oh, the illustration pages have a texture. And there's a sheet that the protective sheet with the writing on it. I think this is onion skin. Look at all the images. Into Morocco. This is a luscious book. The pages are so thick and nice, smooth. They're not brittle. This book has been taken care of. And here we have another illustration with a protective sheet with the texture again. beautiful marbling. Okay. See if I can fix that spine and do make a real pretty journal out of that. I just love this. Okay. And this book, Character Sketches of Romance, Fiction, and Drama. And here's a nice leather book as well. And more onion skin. Oh, and it talks about Lady Bountiful, the image. And here we've got 1902. Volume 1, the pages are absolute yummy. Oh, and look at that. Oh, I love it. This book is nice. And okay, we've got the protective onion skin over every image. And then it talks about it. What a nice touch. that image nice oh and here we have Alexis and Dora 
Alice the Miller's Daughter. Oh, isn't, is that a journal cover waiting for us? Yes. I just love the text. The Ancient Mariner. Andromeda. Angelique and the Monsignor Archimedes There's a lot of illustrations there every few pages and then there's another one Could spend all day just looking at all the pretty pictures. Well, that's a horse. Oh, no, a donkey. A cow. Kind of hard to see it at the at the angle I'm at. The onion skin. There we go. What a wonderful gift. Thank you so much. This book is so well made. It has been around the block. Okay, and let's see. Oh, here we've got um, tape that she has stained so it looks old look at that how clever are you oh and she stained it so it looks vintage how clever both sides both pages and the little bit different colors. Oh, how clever. To get them off here now, that's my, it's gonna be my trick, huh? Oh, I'm dying to use these. These are wonderful. And here's a some nice old drawing paper. This feels really nice. It has a texture. It's um like a manila drawing paper like they would use in art class. And here we've got some ledger papers. And look at here, we've an insignia on there with a, a crest. Oh, it's on every page. Nice touch. Okay, so here we've got terms, rating, credit limit, name and address, and account number. And on the back side, Okay. Yes. 
these are fun. I love ledger paper. And this feels so nice. It's kind of a heavy paper. And it's not brittle. This looks old, very old. They just don't make it with that anymore. And that aging around the edges, that is gorgeous. My beautiful books. And that is the end of my box. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. And thank you, Suzanne. I really appreciate it. It's wonderful. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a great day.